I'd start by making a diagram. It doesn't have to be a work of art, but make it functional. And then we're going to populate the diagram with the information from the question. Uh, let's pay attention to what things actually represent. The 200 is the diagonal. It's not the length. It's not the width. It's this guy. And the 560 is the perimeter. We don't have values for the length or the width. So for things you don't know, you can create variables. And I would probably simplify this. It's always a good idea to just get things smaller if you can. So now we need to think, do we have any other inferences? And for quadrilaterals, polygons, even circles, be thinking about triangles. They're often going to help you um, create inferences. And in this case, you've got a right triangle. And for right triangles, always be thinking about Pythagorean theorem. Uh, L squared plus W squared here is going to equal 200 squared. Now we've got a system of equations, these two guys, and we want to think about how we can solve for the area. You might be thinking about taking the square root of both sides there, doing something like this, and thinking, ah, oh, if I take the square root here, then I'm going to end up with LW, isn't that great? But that doesn't work. These things don't equal each other. Only works for products. This is okay, that works. That is equal to that. But if you have a plus or minus and you put a radical over, it doesn't make the um, exponents disappear. I'd think about working from the other direction. I'd work with this one. And I'd be thinking about what can I do to make that look a little more like that so they can kind of work together. And this is where special quadratics uh, are really helpful. Because I know that if I... Uh, square this term, I end up with this. And that's great because I know that this guy is equal to this. So now I can do some substitution. And we can see that we do have area in there. So we basically just need to isolate the area and then simplify. And then you're looking at these numbers and you're thinking, huh, this is going to be complicated. But just keep in mind that there's generally going to be something simple that you can do to make your life easier. And when you've got a... Uh, a tough product or a tough difference or sum or whatever, think about how you can change the numbers a little bit to make your life easier. And in this case, I'd be thinking about pulling these numbers apart in such a way that I can factor. And so I, I can see that they both are divisible by four. So why not just take that four out like this? And then because it's in both terms, you can bring it out in front. And now 70 squared is not that hard because 7 squared is 49, and then you just add your two zeros. And same idea here, 25 and two zeros. And then we just have this difference. And we still have this whole thing on this side. So we can divide by 2, and then our 16 becomes an 8, so we're left with this. Which you may not be able to eyeball, but if you just split up that 2400, use some distribution math like this, and then you just do 8 by 2000, 8 by 400, and add them together. 